When we talk about weed control options, we're always talking about resistance management, using multiple sites of action throughout the season to make sure we don't have any problems. When it comes to using fungicides, for many farmers, and you may be one of them, you probably haven't been doing it for that many years, you may not know all of the different families that are available, and you may have found a product that really works for you, and you say, well, wow, I really like Headline, or I really like Quadris, or whatever the product may be, and you say, I'm just gonna keep using this product because it works. Well, we're gonna talk about using multiple sites of action when it comes to fungicides and how that may be beneficial in terms of resistance management, but also in terms of disease control. So there are two main chemical families that we deal with in terms of fungicide use in corn and soybeans. It's the strobel urine family, and that particular family has a little bit longer residual, and it is much more preventative than the other family, which is the triazoles. Triazoles are also preventative but they have a slight amount of curative activity. The other thing with the triazoles, they do last a little bit less time. They're also just slightly more hazardous to humans, so it's more difficult to find triazoles that are safe enough to be labeled here in the United States. Well, anyway, this past year, there was a new triazole that came onto the market, and it doesn't have a name all by itself other than the chemical name, which it's not that big a deal to know exactly what the chemical name is, but the point is, in Fortix, you'll find the active ingredient that's in Avito and this new triazole product and we wanted to talk about that just a little bit today so both in general with these combination products and also specifically to Fortex. Well Avito is a strobel urine family fungicide. When we think of the strobel urines they're probably the most popular ones right now in crop production because that family includes Quadris which has been out for a number of years and has been quite effective and also Headline which has certainly gotten a lot of use over the last five or six years. So when you think about Avito that fits right into that same chemical family. Now Avito Vito, their claim to fame is that they will last just a little bit longer than what headline and quadrus well, last. Well, that's what they claim. But how do you really know how long that thing lasted in the absence of disease? Because in a lot of cases, farmers are using these strobel urine products like headline and quadrus and Avito because they have plant health benefits. So if you have that plant healthier longer in the season and we don't have a lot of disease issues, how are you really going to know? Well, here's one way that I'll know. Uh, we're starting to see some diseases that are getting resistant or at least very tolerant to some of these fungicides. It's not what, gonna make much difference for length of control, but what, I agree 100%. What I'm 100%. saying is we'll, we'll see that adding that second site of action well, yes. in there is going to definitely help. Yes. I, I guess what I'm getting at is we are seeing some resistance or, or high levels of tolerance. When we were in Denmark just a couple of years ago, we were talking to an agronomist there who made the comment that, well, the strobel urines, they don't really control disease. We're using them for plant health benefits. Most of our diseases now are resistant to these products. We're seeing the same thing, especially down along the Mississippi River when you get into the mid-south and the further south you're going to see some resistance with frog eye leaf spot and a few of the other diseases are either resistant or getting to be highly tolerant so for those reasons we really like having a second family of fungicides in with that product as we're spraying. Yeah, so this new triazole that's in the Fortix does seem to have pretty decent residual, does seem to have pretty decent activity and a lot of different diseases. So that's why Fortix is already growing in popularity in just its second year. But there are a number of other products out there that can give you multiple modes of action. So I guess the big thing is we just want you to be concerned about this so you're not just using strobel urine followed by strobel urine followed by strobel urine. And if you've been raising specialty crops, you know all about this. But for many of us corn and soybean farmers, it's the first time we've ever used a fungicide in our farm here in just the last few years. And now we're considering, well, one shot's been working fairly decent. Maybe two shots will be okay. So we're trying more of this two shot kind of thing. The other thing is in corn, what we have a lot of question on is, do I really need to spray at tassel time? Because that's an inconvenience for me. I can't do the spraying myself. Sometimes we have weather issues at that time of the year. It's hard to get it applied at the right time. Can I spray earlier? Well, with Fortex, what they're talking to farmers about is maybe spraying at V6, V7, V8, something like that. So you could still do the spraying yourself on your farm, and maybe even you combine it together with Roundup and some other herbicide. So you just make one trip across the field, you get both the plant health and disease benefits out of the Fortex, plus you're getting whatever else you're spraying, getting that control out there, and having a little bit longer residual. So again, Darren had mentioned a little earlier, with Fortex, 
cortex. They claim that the residual is a little bit longer. I guess we're going to find out here as we do more trials in the next few years. As we talk about spraying this fungicide yourself and your corn, what you really want to do is start out with a good pre-emerge herbicide. Now you've controlled most of the weeds in your field and you can wait longer before you have to spray that post-emerge application. The reason why is they much prefer to wait until V6 or V7 with our last shot of weed control if the weeds are still really small because at that stage we've got like at V7 for example you'll typically have 10 corn leaves that are out so you'll get all the way up about to the ear leaf if you can wait that long and that's where we really need protection if we can get protection you know at tassel time wow. sure all the leaves are out but if we can at least get up and protect the leaves right around where that ear is going to be we are seeing some good yield gains there even better than we're spraying at that v4 or v5 time well what it comes back to is most fungicides don't move well in the plant they only move in the xylem of the plant which only moves upwards so in other words if you don't treat the lower leaves they are completely unprotected but even so fungicides don't move very well in plants so we've just seen better results even on our own farm when we spray at v7 versus v5 anytime you can get just a couple more leaves out that's a little bit better when you're trying to spray a fungicide in corn but this Fortix can work in other crops as well well no matter what crop you're in you're going to want to control our weed of the week we'll reveal its identity coming up next